Uh, this is my Leadership Matters in Higher Education Showcase. Basically, I'm just going to cover a, a few pointers, uh, an outline of some of the things I intend to cover in my, my final submission for the module. So basically, I'll start by just uh, giving you an overview of what constitutes good leadership in higher education, uh, my context and my leadership roles, uh, leadership roles to my colleagues in senior management, well, that's pretty important to cover as well, examples of my leadership qualities, how I intend to enhance and develop them throughout the, the, creation, the duration of my um, lectureship position at UWS, evidence of uh, leadership qualities, how I intend to um, provide the evidence of how I've achieved or enhanced some of these um, uh, leadership roles, and evidence of any kind of future enhancement or development. So what constitutes good leadership in higher education? Basically, there's a multitude of views in the literature, which I'll be exploring in, the fi in my final submission. Um, leadership in the context of HE is, is one, of, one view that's focused on relationships, so hence there's a linkage to this concept of uh, distributed leadership, which is a model used extensively in, in the UK higher educational system. Leadership approaches um, are, it's been argued, determined by context, situation, the, the environments and contingencies, so they can vary from time to time, depending on the, the scenario and, and, and the context, so there's no unanimous overall definition, so um, that's something again identified in the literature. So one of the key issues or, or, or um, views is that flexibility and adaptability is pretty pivotal in, uh, in terms of uh, context uh, and leadership in higher education. So my, my context and leadership roles, um, the year two, I'm year two leader for computer games development, also module coordinator for various modules, including computer games design and level design. I supervise in the honours uh, projects as well for, for honours students for computer games development. Um, I'm involved in organising events for outreach, recruitment, and employability, sometimes in the school. Research is ongoing, so there's dissemination of knowledge and things like that. Um, publications, currently researching about VR in, in higher education. So leadership roles to colleagues in senior management, uh, predominantly these relate to things like curriculum and pedagogical change. Uh, there's a culture and governance, I suppose, within our school that dictates, uh, I suppose, upon my leadership styles. Context is important, obviously, it dictates, um, you know, how, how I uh, dictate my styles and, and, and leadership and things like that in terms of leadership. In terms of liaising with colleagues, I have to undertake a, I suppose, democratic shared vision, support and contribute towards uh, the process of future change within the programme, demonstrate skills to diplomatically engage with, with colleagues, uh, learning from one another is quite important, communicate in multiple contexts, and demonstrate uh, in, in uh, participation and kind of unselfish leadership, so being kind of democratic as well. <coughs> So examples of leadership qualities, these are just somehow briefly identified in this diagram. I'll explain these a little bit more in my final submission. So obviously I undertake, uh, in terms of my, my, my teaching uh, role as an expert teacher, a student-centred approach. I um, undertake a lot of uh, research and uh, teaching support as well. For example, with the honour students, so there's a bit of mentorship, scaffolding and support for the students there, mentoring, so there has to be an element of, of trust as well. Constant communication is pretty important with uh, students and uh, colleagues as well. Uh, a facilitator kind of role in forward moving and thinking, progressive, innovative, creative, that kind of thing. I suppose uh, an open door policy, um, you know, you're willing to, to speak to, to colleagues and students as and when required. You're maintaining and adhering to professional standards and trying to evolve and improve, improve yourself in, in that respect. Uh, just being flexible to changing circumstances, um, uh, as they, they, often, they often have to adapt to things in the, the higher educational sector, the changing environment, that kind of thing. So in terms of uh, developing my leadership qualities, um, I will strive to enhance the following, I suppose, the expert teacher role, student-centred approach to, 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 to education, so that's something I always want to try and improve upon in terms of my knowledge dissemination, mentoring to students, uh, yeah, professional standards in terms of uh, you know um, updating my kind of qualifications, keeping up to date in the in the area of higher education, research and teaching support, mentoring, progressive and innovative in terms of um, forward thinking new ideas, areas of research, uh, things to, to aid the program, and working with others and colleagues as well. So that a lot of this relate to the relates to the distributed kind of um, model of kind of leadership that that kind of thing. Evidence, I suppose, of qualities, uh, 
I suppose your basic things like your module evaluation questionnaires, national student surveys, potentially if you get any Star Award nominations, of which I've been, I suppose, occasionally fortunate in the past, uh, honour supervision, recognition for that, uh, hopefully passing this module, fingers crossed in that respect, uh, research outputs to inform and enhance teaching the programmes, and kind of researching something related to virtual reality. Evidence of future development, I suppose, really is to, to continue to enhance my modules, um, pass rates, MEQs as I've mentioned, innovative teaching and learning approaches. So again, these are things I'm constantly re-evaluating, virtual augmented reality. Uh, so in, in terms of that, I'll be, um, well, I have been, uh, disseminated a VR questionnaire, so I'll analyse that and publish that. Um, and also, I'm supposed to continue to establish and retain industry contacts. Uh, at various events that uh, feed the, the, the kind of programme and its enhancement. And that's, that's pretty much it.